Hello, Pizza Scientist here, and Pepperonia is here too. Hi there! And today, I'm going to show you how to correctly make a new level for your Line Runner game. If you'd like to check out my Line Runner game, Pizza Run, after it releases, just join the Pizza Scientist Club in the description below. Also, if this was helpful for you, or you like our other videos, please subscribe. Pizza Family Gaming so first to start off, you're going to need a platform already. You're going to use this platform to make a new platform. So you want to make more platforms so you can have like more stages that can randomize as you play the game. But you can't just duplicate it. You have to, well it is duplicating it, but it's a little bit different. But I do, do a lot sometimes, which is actually wrong, is just highlight the platform and then duplicate it, but that doesn't actually work. So this platform here, in the explorer. I named it P1, P1 for uh, platform 1. So you actually need to be selecting the folder and then push duplicate to uh, make a new one because if you just um, highlight this and not have the folder selected you're just going to duplicate the parts under the same folder and you want to make a new folder. So now you have this part duplicated with the fold new folder you need to rename it. it. Has to not have the same name. So we're just going to name it. We're going to name it P2 for uh, platform two, and then that is a new platform. Next, if you want to add something to this that's like not already on here, you can like duplicate parts and move them and stuff on here, and it'll stay under the same thing. But if you want to like add something else, this is how you do it. So I want to add this. I want to add this piece with these dancing noobs on top to this platform. But the thing is, if I just grab this and I just move it and stick it on top of the platform, it will not spawn with the platform as you're playing the game. Because it has to be under the folder for the platform. So we're going to find the folder and explore. Here's the folder. So we have to do is you're going to go explore, find the thing you want to put on that platform, and then you're going to drag it to the f onto the folder, not down here, but onto the folder for the other platform, and now it will spawn with this platform, and then you can just move it wherever you want. In my case, I'm just going to have it in the background here. Something like that. This will spawn spawn with it. And then I have these dancing noobs I want to add. So we're just going to hold shift and we're going to select all of them. So I don't have to move each one individually. We're just going to do the same thing again. I'm going to move them to the folder and put them in the folder. So now they're going to spawn with the platform. Then we're just going to stick them wherever we want. I'm going to put them up here. Like that. And there you go. A part has been added to a new platform. So next you're going to want to make sure you play test it for any things that might go wrong while you're doing it. Like things fall Yum. into the void and stuff like Yum. that. You need to make sure that Yum. if you want stuff to be anchored that it's anchored. Basically you just play Yum. test it to make sure everything's working. So as you see, there it is. It was in the background. The noobs were dancing on top of it, so no. it worked. Also, the platform did spawn separately no. from the other platform, so it did make a new platform. No. Thanks for joining us for the Slime Runner tutorial. If this was helpful for you, or if you enjoy any of our gaming videos, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, you can follow us on Twitter or Instagram to get updates when new videos come out. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Pizza Family Gaming.